of the day and another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching prison break this is the fifth episode of the fifth season hope you guys have been enjoying it so far if you'd like to watch today's full episode it is available for free in the link in the description below just clicking it put the password in and enjoy speak about links in the description we are running our most liked and dislike characters of the season now yes you know it's um it's only five episodes in it's only a short season i don't even know if you've got a most liked or disliked character yet but we're going to be consistent with season one to four we're going to have to do it for season five so if you guys know who you're choosing already please do in the description but also we have been running our most like seasons and character around the franchise you know what i mean three votes are allowed for those ones and they're a bit aggregated and shown in the final episode they cannot wait to see who everybody chooses lots of polls going on now last episode interesting information was revealed we've been wondering who's been trying to attack sarah do you know what i mean who's been kind of trying to get this person abu out of prison um you know what i mean why has michael been put in there and the good and interesting reveal was the person that was actually shot in the leg that took suspicion away from himself because he was assaulted yes sarah's husband he is the person that's working with the two agents that went into the house obviously got his own people to shoot him and uh went after sarah and uh, i do think it's a twist as well teabag's the one that's uh uncovered this information he took some pictures last episode don't know who he's going to go to probably sarah i don't know how she's going to be uh reacting to it as well how can you keep a straight face if you find this information and you go home it's going to be exciting also michael did escape from prison you know the push from people in yemen the takeover is getting closer to the prison the guards just decided to run away because he knew they'd be getting killed you know michael and this abu was both um using each other to try and they've basically get out of prison and then when they did they both tried to screw each other over michael had no intention of getting him out he had actually no intention of helping michael his men turned up to grab them luckily lincoln come around the corner jumped on a machine gun bang 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 killed everybody and then a big fight escalated and this guy ended up getting killed and now i said the leader of the movement is dead somebody recorded it on the phone it's all over the news and now everybody's going after michael and lincoln same old story exciting stuff can't wait to see what we have in store thanks for checking out today's episode hopefully you guys enjoy it if you do please smash your like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode hi hey i uh i ran into town to get some coffee do you want anything no i'm good thanks honey I'm almost done here. I will see you at the lake in a little while, okay? There's no easy way to deliver this news, darling. Doesn't get any better. He's rotting all the way to the core. You've been sleeping with the enemy, baby. I don't understand. I followed them two monkeys from Kellerman's house right after they put a bullet in him. Needless to say, he wasn't our guy. <laughs> Where are you going? To my son! <laughs> the thing is, he could have took him at any point, couldn't he? Do you know what I mean? Now they can see them over there. I sent this over 10 million for our heads. 10 million. Wait, stay here. We gotta get off these streets or we're dead. 10 million real? It's about what I pay for Freddie Mercury's ashes. He paid Freddie for 10 Mercury mil for really? Freddie Mercury's ashes. It's better than talking about 500,000 people looking to kill us. This is the part you can tell me what's going on. <laughs> the whole thing. No time. The country's about to fall. You got your answers? I promise. Right now, our window is closing. We need to. We need to pivot to the next contingency. The plan's redundant. ICE will control the north, roads, checkpoints, train stations. Even if we make it across the city, it's suicide. You got a phone? No, but he does. I'm telling you. My plan will work. Once, once you leave the northern part of Sanaa. Enough! We shouldn't even be Please. talking about this! I'm not moving another inch until you tell me what the hell's really going on here. I had to fake my death. Go away. That was part of the deal I made. If I went to work for a deep cover operative named Poseidon, we would all go free. We were exonerated. No. That's what we thought. I was approached by Poseidon. You think I'm showing? Here you go, Burger Joe. Hello. Just a second. Just... Uh... I need to know what they actually said. Poseidon told me Kellerman didn't have the authority or jurisdiction to exonerate our crimes. What the hell can they be talking about at a time like this? <laughs> I don't know. Important stuff. Maybe all this running is just delaying the inevitable. That I'm alone here. Home. you know what right just before we get into this right i've been thinking what michael's saying there and i don't really kind of understand it because he's saying that this poseidon's come and he said that killerman didn't have the like authorization to give them the freedom basically and saying to michael that if he don't come and do this job for him you know what i mean they're all going to get arrested and get taken back okay at the time and the point that michael received that call he could have believed that was true do you know what i mean 
Now he's gone and he's done all this thing. And I don't understand how he's got Sarah out, to be honest. This must have been... That phone call must have been before Sarah got taken into prison. Or are we supposed to pretend that those two episodes didn't happen? You know, I can't really get my head around it because clearly that phone call happened before Sarah was inside, yeah? Now Michael's gone in and then he saved her and potentially killed himself and had this deal cut. But then he's saying that he wasn't free, but we know the free because Lincoln, um, Sino, whatever you want to call it, Sucre, they're all walking around. He's been able to get in on the plane and his passport and fly around. He's not wanted by the government. He's done nothing different to my... Do you know what I mean? So, like, Michael's obviously fed false information. He's gone to work for this guy. You know what I mean? Like, clearly, it, Killerman must have upheld his end of the deal because Lincoln and all that have never been arrested and um, they've always been kind of free. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, just, just trying to figure that one out. Who knows this presiding guy? A frustrated policy wonk in the CIA who felt he could do better than his superiors and he needed my help breaking out people in prison all over the world and if I did it you and Sarah you'd go free I wasn't allowed to have contact with any of you so Michael Schofield was dead and over the years I assumed many names the first I said no and within weeks Sarah was incarcerated there we go everything I did I did for family so none of you would ever have to spend another day inside a prison cell or live a life on the run. Train station. Airport. Who are you saying here? I reckon Lincoln may be this one. Airport. Planes are actually flying out, but getting there is going to be solid. You need to go through there. Even the pilot can get to another plane. This is an airport full of planes. There's got to be others. It's no good. People will die here today. Your friends are too late. Look around you. This airport is no good to them. Just all that is true. Like, it doesn't even look like a plane's going to fly out now. I just said that. If they are flying, it's good, but it doesn't look like they are. I ran into one of the forgers then. I can help. And how do you expect to find the foreigners with only one eye? Idea. The pilot. Okay, follow me. I'm assuming he's doing that so he don't get caught, so they can stop people from not flying out. What are you doing here? Come on. The infidels are in the airport. The killers of the Ramal. I've seen them with my own eyes. I want my reward. The 10 million real. If you speak the truth, you'll have them burn. Look a lot of ass for a good Muslim. <laughs> You can take the man out of the streets, but you can't take the streets out of the man. The 747 is done. It's been secured by the rebels. I'm not talking about Yemenia Air. I have my eyes on a different set of wings. Old school, look at that with the propellers on it. I'd be well scared me getting in a plane with propellers on the side. I feel like it's going to break. Everything all right? Yeah, no, it's fine. I just, it's been a crazy day made more so by the fact that I forgot Mike's Spanish lesson. We get Mike's bag. No, no, don't worry about it. I'll get it tomorrow. Uh, this is what I was saying in the intro, mate. Poker face, you know what I mean? Now she's had this information revealed to her. How good is it to convince him that she doesn't know and something's up? Do you know what I mean? Especially if he's this Poseidon, the person that's in the CIA who's created this branch. Was it like 21 or something? He's going to be able to suss things out. You think he's clever enough to know that something's up? Hey, 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 where are you going so fast? Dave, how was that department meeting yesterday? You usually meet with... Oh, you. she's just revealed it out straight away. Sarah, Sarah, please, please, please. I can explain, okay? Just listen to me. I needed to protect you, to, to protect our family. So I picked up your phone from the shop and I took it to Andrew Nelson. I, he tracked those bastards down, got their cell information. So I called them, thinking I could I could maybe make it make a deal with them. Sarah, this was for you. You're gonna wanna get out of the way right now. If it is true what he's saying, it'll be revealed at the end that it's not him, won't it? And then it'd be okay. Guy's got a pure dollar. Do you know what I mean? I'd just give him the 10 million to let me go if I was him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I see a bunch of dudes with AK-47s who don't look a thing like us. Do you really believe we can survive 300 miles on a train through ISIL territory? I love the rest of the trip. Besides, we don't need to look like them. Tell the believing men to lower their gaze. Lock the faces. <laughs> Where's he got his hat from? Are blocked by train. Guy's just so annoying, isn't it? I mean, he's right. He's, he is right. You're saying he planned to get himself shot? Like it was some sort of uh, sick performance? I don't know. But he almost died. So the plan was to wing him. It's him. It's Michael. I believe you. And that matters. That's all that matters. No, I know. But Jacob is a good man. He's your husband. I have to answer it. No, 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 you don't. Leave a message and we'll get back. Heather. Heather, is Sarah there? 
Please, I, I need to speak with her. Listen, let's just see if there's a simpler explanation, right? What was the name of that computer tech that he mentioned? Andrew. Nelson. Andrew Nelson. Something about hiding in plain sight. I feel like, do you know what, man? What if it's her? Hiding in plain sight. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, either I feel like either she is working with her husband or her husband is actually telling the truth and he's just done his digging. Ah, it's got me, man. Like, I always kind of fall for him that they actually, they're who they say they are and then it turns out that they're not. And that's why I don't want to, like, be done again. Do you know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm kind of thinking, like, why, why is this woman here? You know, sometimes I feel like a lab. Why, why is she going to this woman's house and just venting all the time? I know it's a friend and that. Like, but I just feel like she's going to have a bigger part to play than just being a friend do you know what i mean so I, i'm saying she could be presiding you know what i mean like and he could have done it but i don't know right now i'm gonna go with both of them who are involved and then when more's revealed then i'll try and narrow it down a little bit further <laughs> the guy didn't even know who he was It'd be good if they can kind of jump onto that train as it was moving. One eye can be useful now. What do you want? Look at the picture I just sent you. Where? Not so fast. Bring your weapons. I will stay on them. Domestico. Question is, can you fly an old bird like this? We'll find out. How's Michael and that going to know to get to this location? Or they're not, are they? They've got no phone. There's another station 30 miles outside Sanaa. I don't blame you for resenting me. You're damn right I resent you. Every second of every day, the people, the collateral damage, the lives. But I can't start thinking about that. Because if I do, then it all falls apart and none of us get to go home. Lincoln, though. Yeah, I feel like Lincoln's good plan, plan, though. The airport's the only play. Yeah, it is a good plan. Trust my instincts. They've gotten us this far. And my gut says we can still make it out through the north. Gotta go with the horse that got you here, you know, so... I respect that though. But what's Lincoln gonna do? He's not gonna just leave him, is he? That's a proper banger, that, isn't it? Look at all that smoke. What did he? Uh, what did he ask you to do? He said he was looking to find the contact information for the people who were stalking his wife. So, I did a data dive and gave him what I could find. Who are they? Don't know. It was a dummy IP address. The cell and location were correct. They couldn't hide that from me. I mean, that ties up to what he said, though, isn't it? He's tough. Here. Sarah, listen, I know you're upset, but I need you to come to the Whitney Heights police station right now. See, he told you some information, you got and researched it yourself, and it was the same. Like, what'd you do then after that? Serious, I need to know. I've been traveling so fast for so long, I didn't even stop to think who you really are, what we're really doing here. That matters now. What have my actions been all these years? Who's been taking care of you through everything, huh? Me, right? Just give it to me straight. You know, I'm a big boy, I can handle it. There's a reason you're my whip hand. A reason that's gonna change your life. Hey, right, one-eyed moody here again. Hmm. You know, I understand what Michael's saying. He's like, look, mate, does it really technically matter who I am? And what I've done and where I've come from? Does it matter who my name is and who Lincoln is in the back of my family? And do you know what I mean? Like, all that matters is... The time that we've been together, have I been loyal to you? Yes. Have I said what I'm going to do? Yes. Have you always been my right-hand person? Yes. Have I got you to this position? Yes. Am I trying to keep you alive and get you out of the country? Yes. I understand that you've got suspicions and questions and you don't really know who I am. But the fact is, yeah, all the evidence stacks in my favour that you are my right-hand person. And I'm always helping and doing stuff as a team together to help you help me help everybody i know that you want questions but look at what the information is being presented you know i'm here helping you and i've never let you down so it doesn't matter who i was just think of who i am now and where we're going because you're by my side there's no way out back of the hospital's been shut to rob us blocked upstairs is blocked too what's going on just come with us you'll see please we'd like you to point out who broke into your home and the one who shot your husband it's three and four. The man and the woman was the shooter. Guy, man, he could be saving himself. I don't know. He's taking his suspicion away again. I don't think it's that kind of a party, but I like your style. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Bash someone. Pizza fist. 
Rubbing alcohol? The hell you doing? It's only 95% alcohol. I only go 95% blind. He's made that spike pretty good considering what he's got. Michael? My first lover was much older than me. He's my friend's father. It was the greatest of scandals that we kept to ourselves. But his wife and told her brothers as he was taken into the desert and buried. I need you to use that on me and my suffering. Point is? Just right. All this running is pointless. You know what they will do to me here, away from seeing eyes. I won't let that happen. Do you understand? What are you going to do with that? I've served my sentence. <laughs> oh, what is he just on? Imagine he hit one of them. <laughs> when Poseidon offered me the deal, at the time I thought if I dealt with it myself, the pain would only be mine. I wanted to make it better, but I only made it worse. Oh, no, is he watching? Mate, that must be tough, mustn't it? You know, seeing your son there and never being able to go over to him, but watching him just from a close distance. You're the smartest person I've ever known. But you can't carry the load on your shoulders alone. I'm just a husband who was worried about his wife. And yeah, I, I should have told you what I was doing, but... Look, I felt like, like everything was spiraling out of control and I had to do whatever I could to protect you. But I thought they would respond to money, you know? Pay them whatever it took to make them go away. $50,000. I had a tracker in it, Sarah. The guy's too smart. He actually is smart. I am so sorry I put you through this. If I was Sarah, I think I'd believe him. But I'm sus from my... But she's had the same experience as me, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I still don't know. Imagine this guy's just smacked them all up. Freddie Mercury. I've served my sentence, but committed no crime. So it's 95% alcohol. Boom. My scabs ain't kicked in my face, but I've come through. Clock what he's doing. Get burned. He done well there. I clock what he was doing. I love you, you crazy Japanese son of a bitch. <laughs> Korean champ. Airport. Airport. And, oh, here we go. They got a phone. Hey. Oh man, now that's a voice I never thought I'd hear again. Hanger two. We can be there in 20 minutes. We can be there in 20 minutes. I don't know if we have that long. Wait for us, we'll be there. Oh, oh, he's been shot. This guy again, one eye. One call and my brothers will find your friends at the airport. Oh, he stood up and got him, himself. Stab, did he stab him? Oh no, he's dead. Mate, they've had it out for this lad, haven't they? Do you know what I mean? They've been trying to kill him bare times. Oh, there we go, Michael. Go on, lad. You will die, you hear me? I actually hate that guy. He's just, just a little, he's just a little worm, you know what I mean? Like, as you can just tell, I don't like, don't like him. So many souls in our hands. Do we really have a choice? I've not got five minutes. I mean, you still got your phone, so you know, you might as well ring him and say, look, mate, don't come. Yeah. So, you, know, you gotta get out of here, man. You know what? Got respect to it, aren't you? Fair play to them, you know? No bad feelings. So close, so it reminds me of the end of season one, you know, when he's waving when he was on the runway. What? Oh, yeah, she said, oh, my friend, the guy took his passports, he had connections on the West or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that's the end of the episode. It's interesting that, like I was just saying there, it reminded the end of season one. Do you know when he was jumping and he was waving like that, and a British plane just flew over them? And it's like, mate, unlook at so close, but yet so far away. And that's like today, isn't it? Literally so close. Now, got respect it though. They rang and said, you go. You know, if you wait, you're going to get caught. And there's so many kids on there and yourself, you know, get yourself to freedom. No hard feelings as well, you know what I mean? He wasn't upset or anything. They'd done what they could, they'd done what they could. You had to take, you know, the cards that you pinned out, you know what I mean? Now, interestingly, that Sid guy has died. Now, I feel like the show's had it out for him, to be honest. You know, ever since he's been in it, he's always been in a kind of a, a bad situation. His life's been on the line a few times. He was being strangled at that one point, do you remember? And, like, Michael went to try and get him, and then you come through here, and he was asking his mate to stab him a minute ago, and it didn't happen, and then, obviously, he's been shot again off this guy with the, with the one eye. 
And I would have beat him up a bit more, to be honest. Like, he's just killed him and also he's got his handcuffed to a body. Now, it only takes one person or a bit of strength or finding a gun or a weapon or something strong to bash that cuff off. Do you know what I mean? And then he's kind of free. All he's got is a couple of punches to the head. Do you know what I mean? I would have hurt him. I would have probably stabbed him or shot him or something. I know it sounds ruthless, but just, you're next in conditions. This guy's got a proper agenda. He's going to come after you. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to stop. What you need to do is actually reduce his ability to come after you. You know what I mean? If you give a couple of shots in his leg, he ain't going to have the ability to get up and chase you down in the time frame that you're trying to get out of the country. You've got to reduce as many numbers that will be coming after you as possible. So that's what I would have done anyway. But now it's just these, you know, you've got to go and find Omar. Hopefully you heard that. She did mention earlier on the episode as well that I think that he could be trusted. He's in the West or something. He's got connections, so they need to go up there and go to him. You know? Another interesting, fast-paced, lot of action shooting episode. I actually think that this season, I've said it, you know, maybe because it's short and the storyline that we've been given with, the obviously, the movement and uh, the location and the bombs and the guns, like, it has bring and brought a lot of action and I've enjoyed it. So, obviously, you know, this is the fifth episode. We're going all the way to nine. Still a bit to go, but uh, I'm excited to see how we finish. Okay, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you're not yet voting for your most liked or dislike characters of the season, please do. Take 30 seconds and your results are mine. We'll be showing in the final episode. Can't wait to see you guys pick, as well as the most liked characters throughout the whole entire franchise. Three votes were allowed, and the top three will be aggregated and shown in the final episode. So today, we obviously had Jacob trying to explain to Sarah that he was not involved with anything that's going on. He's a trustworthy man, and, uh, you know, he's actually brought the culprits in. She's identified them, but uh, I actually don't know, I mean, you know, it is really, really tough. So basically, he told her a story that he's gone, and he's hunted down the phone, you know, the connections, he's got it, he's called it, he's met with them, you know, he tried to pay them off, and then... Like, Sarah's gone and done some digging herself with a friend and spoken to the guy, and he's told the same story. Like, I always think it's, like... Do you know when Lincoln and Michael and all that have been getting questioned? And then I'm like, look, just take one over there and ask him, and take one over there and ask him, and take somebody, like, and, and see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, literally, see if all stories stack up. Um, because if you go and do some research yourself and you find out it's the same thing, then it's hard to kind of question the truth you know what i mean so like sarah she's obviously a bit i still think she's suspicious if i'm being totally honest because she's been brought to the police station she's been asked to identify the people straight away boom she can see them she knows who they are do you know what i mean she's not going to get that one wrong but that does deter suspicion away from her husband you know what i mean he thought all episode that he was involved in the information that t-bag give her now he's obviously showing his hand and saying look i've done this this and this i put a tracker in here i've got these in i tried to cut a deal tried to save our family and it makes too clever like i mean again michael's clever so she knows the score and it might obviously work in her favor that she's not falling for it like i fell for it loads of times in terms of like the bible moon and all that stuff but like here i'm actually still sticking by it i think that a friend could potentially be involved a little bit and that's why i said i wasn't gonna pull it off jacob i was gonna put her and him in it possibly together i don't really know and when more information's revealed i'll figure it out but i actually feel like even though information was revealed today towards us that he was taking these people down i still feel like it might be to mask that he's actually involved He's thinking if I could do this, this, and this, he's not going to think that I'm involved, blah, blah, blah. But I actually think a bit more that he is now. So I don't know. I'm excited for it. I don't know who you guys are obviously thinking. Is he in it? Is he not? Um, I'm still going with he is right now. And I don't know if he's working by himself or if he's working with that friend. And what's going to happen with these two people that have been selected now? Do you know from Sarah? Are they going to get arrested, what not sent down? Or is he going to break free and work for him later on down the line? I'm not too sure. Make that for the next episode, see what goes on with Michael and Cole to try and obviously get out of the country and see if we use Sino obviously getting back to the mainland or whatever and helping Sarah on what we do with T-Bag and her husband. Loads of stuff going on. Can't wait for the next episode. Thanks for checking out today's. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like, really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.